Hello, 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 everyone, everyone. Dirty Trucking in here getting her holiday cooking on. And I'm going to start with the sweet potato pies. So I've already boiled the potatoes. Um, I've already melted the butter to go in it. Uh, I do usually a taste test as I go to get it to the right uh, texture I want and, and uh, flavor. Um, but I start with the butter. I can't give you all my secret ingredients. Then your ass to be making pies like me and uh, shit. And they be delicious. So uh, this is Dirt Trucking up here in the kitchen. Somebody said they wanted to see a cooking video. So here's going to be one. So uh, I usually buy my pie crust already made. Uh, I usually, I have started liking that um, our family pie crust. I used to use uh, Pet Rich from a long time ago. But they changed the texture. So I don't like them no more. So, but now I have found, uh, these are Pillsbury pie crust already made. I make deep dish sweet potato pies. So, uh, these are my two pie crusts right here. Got these already ready. Uh, this is my sweet potato mix right here. Got that already. I got to see the butters in it. So, right now I'm going to get some more ingredients. I'm trying to get this camera to focus right because uh, I got a camera that don't have the um, flip lens to whack a reverse video. So, uh, I'm trying to let y'all see this. So, this is my sweet potato mix. I boil whole sweet potatoes with the hull on it. Then I take the hull off. Then I smash them up in the pot. So, I usually use, I use, not usually use, I always use fresh, holiday cooking, I use fresh stuff, fresh ingredients, I use actual real butter, I use Lando Lake's unsalted butter with a pinch of regular margarine to give it just a little pinch of, a little salt taste in it, but I use Lando Lake's unsalted butter because I don't be like it on that salted food, so like I say, here's my already made pie crust, I get two and I'm going to make two deep dish pies. I'm going to give a whole one for my son and one for me. So I'm going to set them to the side. Let them already thaw out. So, I got, like I said, I got my butter in here already. So I'm going to move this over here a little closer. Got my butter in the pot already. So what I'm going to do here, next step, I need to let it cool off a little bit while the butter was in there. I get my eggs. Uh, my milk, my flavoring, I put in there, my cinnamon and, and what not other stuff I put in there. And my little secret ingredient I put in there, the milk. Uh, I also put uh, pet milk in mine and uh, get it to that consistency with the sugar and get it to that consistency. I do a little couple of taste tests until I get it really at that flavor that I want. Then I get a blender and I take the blades and go around in it until the blades get all the strings out of it, which I'm going to let you see. So, uh, I'm going to be pausing it and, and coming back and pausing it and coming back. So right now, I'm going to go get the eggs and crack some eggs up in this bad boy and get it, get it started. Since I'm only making two pies, I put about maybe four or five eggs in there. Probably do five. Yeah, I'm gonna do five. Oh, so like five eggs over in there. Mix it up real good. You can't make a sweet potato pie without eggs. I remember as a kid, we did that one day. The pie was so thin and flat, we had messed it up. My father came in and told us we missed some eggs, so we had a stupid idea to take an already cooked pie, scrape the insides out, mix the eggs in there, and try to re-break it. Uh, I can't tell you how horrific that came out. So right now I'm just going to mix up the eggs in here. You want to let your sweet potato mix kind of cool off a little bit before you start breaking and cracking up eggs in here because you're going to put melted butter in it. All sweet potato pies have butter in it. And then it depends on your sugar taste. I don't make my pies real sweet, but they be nice and tasty. 
And I make sweet potato pies that the colder they get, the better they are. So, got the eggs in there. So, right now, I'm just going to be throwing a few little other ingredients in there. I'm going to put some cinnamon in there right now. Go ahead, since I'm over here at the cabinet. I used to put nutmeg in there years ago, but I stopped putting in there. Because uh, nutmeg actually makes the top of it a little darker. So, I sprinkle some cinnamon in here. Because cinnamon goes in it. I ain't going to tell you two more of my, and much more of my ingredients. Because I can't have y'all in here, uh... Taking my secret pie mix. This is a secret pie mix. You understand me? Secret. Let me move the camera back so you can get a kind of full, full eye view. Got a little new camera here. So uh, I want to get me a regular camera to record. So I'm mixing cinnamon up in there. So next, I'm going to get me some sugar. Uh, put my pet milk in there. And then I put a little regular milk in there. And I'm going to throw my sugar over there and my other secret ingredients. And I'm going to mix it up and uh, give them a little taste test on. And uh, I'll be right back. Excuse me. I got to step out the way and go and get the living ingredients. Oh, excuse me. I need. Mean, we need that there. See, one of We need that there. That's vanilla. You need vanilla. You need sugar. Some of y'all got too much sugar in your pies. I don't like all that sweet pies. You put sugar in it, then you go get that body that old sweet condensed milk. I don't make my pies with all that sugar in there. But it's going to be some sugar in it. So I do a little at a time and do a taste test until I get it to the right sweetness and then I stop. Then I don't put no more in there because I have it just right. Got to go get something else, excuse me. What did I miss over here? Oh, the pet milk. I actually put a little pet milk and milk in mine. And that's about far as I'm going to go with y'all with my secret ingredients. You understand me? Cause you ain't gonna be making pies like me out there getting rich off of my recipe. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Some of y'all don't know about pet milk. That's that evaporated milk. I put a little of that in my pies. And then I get a little regular milk. Kind of mix it. Get my vanilla here. At this point, I'm at the point where I'm just starting to dump everything in here and get it all mixed up. I use pure vanilla. I don't use vanilla extract. There's a difference. A vanilla extract is not pure vanilla. When you use pure vanilla, you don't need as much of it, but you got to be careful with it. I just do a little smidget, and then I start doing a little taste test. I'm going to pause the video, put my secret ingredient in here, then I'm going to come back with my blender, and I'm going to show you the strings that come out of it. Because sweet potatoes are actually really stringy, and it takes a lot of blending to get all the strings out of it. So I'm going to pause the video, and I'll be right back. All right, dirty trucking back. I'm going to put most of my ingredients in here. So right now, I'm just doing a taste test, getting it to the right flavor I want. I'm going to put a little bit more butter in there. And uh, I'll just be doing, uh, get my sugar taste in here right. And then I'm going to break the blender out and uh, get these strings out. It's a little tedious process, a little messy process, but I'm going to let you show. Because sweet potatoes whole boiled is actually stringy. Sweet potatoes are really stringy. Actually good for you. We used to bake them as a kid. Split them open, put butter on. Real good for you. Hold on. About to go over here and get my blender. My mixer.
Always good to keep one of these in hand. I had to put me a little more butter in here. This time I'm the real. I'm going to do the regular mixture of the margarine because it got a little, little different texture, salt flavor. Not too much, but it gets this, this pie that flavor I'm looking for. So I make my pies by taste. I give me a little spoon and I dip on the side till I get it to the right taste. And I automatically know because I make these all the time, every year. This is my spe one of my specialties. This is my specialty pie, my sweet potato pie. So when I get these blenders, I use these blades. In fact, let me rinse them off while I'm here. Pardon me, y'all. Let me wash them off because they've been up there in that cabinet. Get my mixer all cleaned up. And then get me a little container to put some water in. Plug this in. Might have to move y'all over for a minute. All right. Okay, let me let y'all see what it's looking like up in here. So, this is the sweet potato pie mix so far. Damn, I can't get the camera right. Here we go. See, that's the pie mix right here. I get, I blend it till it get real smooth and get all the strings out of it. And right now I'm still at the tasting part of it before I get to blending. Once I get the taste part of it all right, then I get to blending it. And after I get it blended smooth and got all the majority of the strings out, then it goes into the crust. All right. Dirty trucking in here, whipping it up with them pies. Gonna be making, uh, uh, the capon. I'm gonna have collard greens. I'm gonna have dressing with the cranberry sauce, ocean spray. Uh, got me some hog moles. I'm gonna cook them today. Get them out the way, cause them, them that's a family delicacy there, and uh, we fight over the pot over that, the hog ball stuff. So we gonna, I'm gonna cook the hog moles today. I'm gonna cook the greens today. Get my pies out the way today. That's all I'm gonna cook today. Then tomorrow, get up, make my pan of cornbread, mix my dressing mix. Had a bird already seasoned. Then I'll be making my macaroni. Whip all that in the oven, and boop, boop, bam! A couple hours later, be eating. So like I said, right now I'm still at the taste test here. No taste is like if I was making pies for somebody, I'd be using different spoons here. But since it's gonna be me and just me and one for my son, so you know it's family thing. If I was making these to sell or I should make one to get to somebody, of course I'll be using a different spoon. You don't want to catch me on video laughing in the potato the sweet potato pie mix and sometimes i have a lot left over and freeze it and it's actually still good once you thaw it out just get you an already made pie crust throw it in there bake it be just like i just made it mm. that's it just douse a few douse a few more things in there put me a little regular milk i use pet milk and a little regular milk I'll get me I use that you're gonna need your bowl of water when you're trying to whip these strings out the potato you're gonna see what I'm talking about in a minute so I fill this up with water so I can rinse them in the water hold on let me step over here then I'm gonna put my blades in and then I'm gonna get to mixing this up it might still be adding a few more things I'll put a little bit more butter in there. Melt that in the microwave. They're starting to know how to cook it up. My pies, these sweet potato pies, I do make from scratch. It's a different little uh, recipe than what my father made. Um, kind of put my foot in this one. This ain't. This ain't. This ain't daddy pies. This ain't my daddy pies. It started out my daddy pies. Mm. 
All right, got my blades in here. Let me flip this cord over so it won't, uh, hopefully it won't interfere with the camera here. All right, so when I get to blending, uh, get all the strings out, what you finna see in a minute. Let me pull this butter in here before I get to blending. Dirty trucking up in here, whooping it up in the kitchen. I'm going to let you see a few strings, then I'm going to pause it, finish whipping it up, and get ready to pour it into the to the uh, pie mix, the pie shells. I'm going to mix this butter, because I melt mine in the microwave. You want to mix it up a little bit with the spoon. You don't want to put this blender in there, slinging hot uh, sweet potato pie mix on you. All right. So now this is the blending part. I put it on high, get it smooth. I get all the strings out. This gets all the strings out. All right. You see what I'm talking about? Those strings. The strings be... Sweet potatoes are actually stringy. If you ever bake one whole and just peel it and look apart, they're really stringy. They're stringy. So I rinse that, get them out, and keep blending it until I get the majority of them out to the blades card coming out pretty clear. See that? See them strings? That's what I'm talking about. Them strings right there. Got to get all that out of there. All right, I'm going to pause this and get it all blended up. And then I'll be right back. Well, I guess I can let y'all see a little bit of it while I'm blending it. If I can get this camera. You just go around. Make sure you, you want to go all the way around. And get it blended the corners, the center. But you what? You're trying to pull all those strings out of there. I'm trying to pull the majority of those strings out of there. I just give it a couple of whirls, then I cut it off. Look at it, see how many strings. The strings are getting a little less and less now, and I'm getting pretty much batter on it. So I'm going to rinse this off. Probably give it another once in a while. See all the strings hanging at the bottom? This is what you want to get off here. So I'm going to pause y'all and get all this off. All right, I'm back. My mix is smooth and creamy. I got my pie crust here. Getting ready to fill up one right now. I got all the strings, the majority of strings out. That blending technique, use get that's the good technique to get all the strings out. And I got my oven already preheated to 425. I fill these mugs to the edge. And look like I'm gonna have some mix left for maybe a pie, future pie later on in the in the coming months. And it is delicious. The mix is delicious. I actually got enough to make another little pie. So this going to be frozen. This is the finale. Dirty truck and pies. I got two deep dish here. I want to be challenged, but by someone who, who refuses to be 
Don't they look lovely? Too deep this pies. Got the oven set to 425. Once these bad boys get done, I'm going to take a picture of them and put a link onto this video. After it's up, the, the video going to be uploaded before the pies are done. So I'm going to take a picture of them and put a link so you can see what the pies look like done. Don't they look delicious? Got a little mix left here in the pan, so this going to go in the freezer. You can freeze it. It's dirty trucking in here, whipping it up, making them sweet potato pies. Don't they look beautiful? Them two lovelies. Two lovelies going in that oven right now. Dirty trucking. You saw it here, making them sweet potato pies. Peace out.